Uh, good morning, internet. Uh, I got a pretty quick one today. Um, all I want to do is introduce you to a few uh, like libraries within the uh, communist ecosystem. And I'm just going to start with a really simple one, which is called CL string, which you can find here on GitHub. Obviously, I'll leave that uh, in the description. I make I basically make use of CL string in every single uh, every single program I write. I always import CL string using um, QuickLisp. It's quite extensive, and it basically does what it says. It's uh, string manipulation. Um, you can uh, go through and look at uh, all the functions yourself, um, it, but it does come in very, very handy. Uh, yeah, I will just show you a few examples. Um, really, if you know how to use Lisp already, you should be able to just jump straight in. But I will show you some. So we will just quickly quick load the library string. Ooh. And so we have functions like words, which creates a list from using white space. Um, or we have the opposite, which is on words, which takes a list of words and joins them together. Or how about contains P does foo contain F? The answer is yes. What about capital F? No. You can pass ignore case like that and then it will do it. Or you can do let string ignore case T string contains P F foo like so. Uh, you've got a few other things like um, you can check if they all contain the same prefix P R E P R O I know P R I something like that and then we have P Did I make a mistake? No, they uh, do all seem to start with P but we have a problem because the uh, prefix is actually PR, not just P. Interesting. You would think that uh, you would think that P is still a valid prefix. Huh. I don't know if that's valid behavior. Let's check the issues on GitHub. Fit to a given size. Huh. Anyway, well, we've just uh, seen that. It's interesting, isn't it? Um. Anyway, we have string, and then we got like snake case, converts case, or how about camel case? Of course, you shouldn't be converting case because kebab case is the best case. How about removing punctuation? And you can select what you want to replace it with. We're gonna so a key. We're gonna replace it with a smile. <laughs> um, and then uh, yeah, it also like strips white space. So um, right. Now we also have uh, like string case. This is actually quite common because uh, common lisps case uses equal, like EQL, uh, not um, like equal or string equal. So they've provided a string case. Uh, so we have hello. Just gonna return a smiley face. Otherwise, oh. We're going to return a sad face. No. Like so. It would be nice if there was like an E string case that would error. Um, but as you can see from here, I mean, it wouldn't be too hard, but they're using cond. 
to uh, implement it as a, as a macro. Ooh. Uh, now let's go to my absolute, the, the uh, function that I make the most use of, which is string split. So we can split, say, a URL like so. However, by default, it just replaces it replaces instances of what you wish to separate or the separator with uh, empty strings. But if you pass emit nulls as t, you uh, remove. Yeah, it removes the empty strings. Or you can do it like previous, where you have string emit nulls t and then. And it does the same thing. Um, I think we will just do one more example, which is one when I was making, looking to make this video, I noticed it seems pretty cool. You can do some sort of substitutions um, using plists. Um, like so, replacing foo with foo and bar with bar. This is a pretty useful library, although um, this contains p just, uh, uh, the uh, prefix p just caught me by surprise because p actually is a, it is a valid prefix. Um, I suppose we can check the, check prefix p. Um, they also, in the library, supply like a, uh, Predicates which start with a question mark or end with a question mark, which is not really a common list star, it's more like scheme. So I would suggest you use the P, but at the end of the day, it's up to you. Um, turn if common prefix or suffix between items. Interesting. Well, it is common, so that might be a bug. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, I think the only issue I have with this is that, uh, some, like, say split, split obviously takes a character, or it takes a string, whereas others, like, uh, let's see, whereas contains P, will only accept a sequence or a string, you can't pass the individual characters in. Well, it's not really a major problem, but uh, it would be nice. I don't know, it would be nice. Maybe they could provide like an optimized version that uh, works with characters only. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you find that useful. Uh, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. I do plan on making many more videos on like the commonest ecosystem and libraries that are used by the community and are very useful to the community. Thank you very much.